In the next few minutes of this video, I wanna change the way that you look at being a graphic designer for the rest of your life. This is not something that you want, this is something that you need to hear. And a lot of the times I come from a very positive, uplifting, goofy spirit. But today this is a little more serious because I'm seeing a lot of people online in my communities and on my comments that are really struggling as graphic designers and as creatives, whether it's a web designer, motion designer. And I'm gonna break it down today in two sections. There's gonna be two pieces that I wanna talk about that I think are the culprits to why you're struggling as a graphic designer. So that all being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. First off, I'm Adrian Boysell. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. Today I have something important to talk about of why you are not a great designer yet, right? Kind of a clickbaity title, but the truth is you're probably not a great graphic designer yet. If you're watching this video, you're still looking for information, you're still trying to improve, you're still trying to figure out ways, which is a great first step. The first and most fundamental piece I need you to understand is there's a difference between skills and sales. A lot of designers do not have sales skills, but also a lot of designers don't have that great design skills. They're still learning how to become great designers. And being a designer is not just about how good your artistic ability is, how great your design work is. It's being a business owner or being an owner or operator of a company and helping people solve their problems. The goal to sharpen your skills is to solve bigger and better problems in order for you to make more money. The skill set of sales is not what you think it is. A lot of people say, oh, sales, I'm not a sales person. I don't know how to sell. I'm an introvert. They make all these excuses for why they can't sell. Guess what? I was the shyest kid around in my school and now look at, I'm making YouTube videos. Sales is about relationships. Me genuinely giving enough love, compassion, empathy, to care enough to make videos like this, to share on YouTube for absolutely for free with no expectation of anything under return other than you guys getting an impact. That's called relationship building. That's how we build connections to people. So if you're not going out there and serving people, which is what sales really is, then you have the wrong mentality about sales and I want you to shift that today. So I'm gonna jump into three sections that I wanna to talk to you about that I think are gonna be really transformative. So the first question is, are you really that skilled of a business owner or are you just a good designer? And if that's the case, are you spending time building your skill set as a designer and as a business owner or as a freelancer, whatever role that you're in? The reality is, is that your skill set is probably not at the level that you think it is because people are not being drawn to you. People are not coming to you for more work and you're having to go out there and look for work. You're having to push the rope rather than pull the rope. And that is not a good business model. That is not a good business strategy. You need to sharpen your ax and you need to get a higher level of skill set as a graphic designer and as a business owner. There's not enough time in this video for me to share all of that, but I want to make sure that you understand that you need to sharpen your ax and your skill set. You're not ready yet to be considered a great graphic designer. Maybe you're an okay graphic designer. Maybe you're even a good graphic designer, but there's a difference between good and great. Before we get too deep into this video, I would love to know personally who's watching this video. Are you a web designer, graphic designer, motion designer, logo designer? Drop a comment down below, introduce yourself. I'd love to hear from you. I want to get to know everybody that's watching these videos. This all leads me to my second point. What are you doing to invest into your skill set? When is the last time that you picked up a book? What is the last course that you took? What is the last educational platform that you went through or, or program or coach or mentor that you hired in your life? How much time are you spending and are you scheduling every single week to just practice? Are you even practicing on a regular basis or are you considering the practice that you're doing for your clients and the work that you're doing for clients, your practice? You need to make time Notice how I didn't say take time. You need to make time to actually practice and do things that you want to do. Not just be an order taker and be a, a money maker and do things that you're paid to do, but do things that you want to do. Passion projects, internal work. A great way for me to design has been doing things that help me grow my business that I'm passionate about. Working on my business rather than working on my clients' businesses. So make sure you schedule this into your time to practice daily. The last piece to this question is feedback. If you're putting out really great work, what kind of feedback are you getting? Are you even asking for feedback? This is a mistake that I see so many creatives do. They don't communicate effectively. They don't ask for feedback. They don't give feedback. They just kind of go and click the buttons and hit next. That is not the way to build a successful career. It's not the way to build a successful business. So I want you to start thinking about getting feedback from your clients, asking people what they think, jumping to our Instagraphics community, sharing your work and saying, hey, what do you think I could do to make this better? You're naturally going to rise with everybody else that's rising if you genuinely give your whole heart and soul to actually investing into your career, into your time, into who you are and who you really wanna become. All right, but the last piece of this, and I see this all the time, and I've seen a few people in our Instagraphics group, is assessing your skill set. Not only do you wanna ask for feedback around the design work that you're doing, but you wanna ask for feedback from the community. Are you really cut out to be a graphic designer? Maybe you love graphic design, maybe graphic design is a passion of yours, 
but maybe you were made to sell graphic design. Maybe you were meant to manage graphic design projects. Maybe you're more of an operations person. Maybe you're more of a creative director and you just need to manage the graphic designer. Really taking the time to be honest with yourself and understanding where you fit. Is it sales or is it the skill set? Are you just early on in your game, you're early on in your design career and you haven't really built the skill set yet, but you know you, you can become that because you have the potential like I did? Or is graphic design really not your thing? You've been doing it for a decade and people aren't really a fan of your work and you're not getting crazy amount of inquiries about your work. That could be a big deal. And then the last piece I'll say about this, and this is for another video and I've done many videos on this, is the marketing side. If you're not sharing your work, if you don't have a great portfolio, if you're not telling everybody about, if you're not shouting from the rooftops about what you do and how you impact lives and how you change lives and how you impact businesses and how you make people more money, that's on you. A lot of these variables are variables that you can control. If you're not made for graphic design, you just gotta be honest with yourself. Quit trying to put a square peg in a round hole. It's not gonna work. No matter how hard you try, you're just gonna keep bumping your head and that's what they call insanity. So that's my video for you guys today. I hope you found this valuable. If you have any feedback, you loved it, you hate it, whatever it is, drop it down in the comments. I wanna hear from you. And if you're a fellow creative like me, make sure you check out the Instagraphics Pro Network. If you need help growing your graphic design business or you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can go check out my new website, adrianboysell.com. I'd be happy to work with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.